So what actually is a snoot? Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com. And today we're taking a look at snoot light modifiers. Uh, this is the snoot that we sell here at photodeox.com. You can check it out in the link below. And today we're gonna take a look at how to use a snoot for portrait photography. What a snoot does is you add it to your strobe or constant source light, and it modifies the light by turning it into a focused spot. This is really useful if you wanna focus light on a subject and let it fall off in the background, or if you wanna add a spotlight behind your subject. Today we're working with our model Abby, and we're using a Photodeox LED 100WB. We're just going to pop the snoot onto it like this to modify the light. Now we're using a constant source light setup for this video just because it's easier to demonstrate what we're doing. But these setups will work just as well with a speed light or strobe. With our first setup, we used the snoot to spot the light on Abby like a spotlight, and we allowed it to hit the background as well and include even a little bit of her shadow. This creates a very dramatic theatrical look, and it also has kind of an old Hollywood feel to it. We then lit Abby from the side with the snoot and used a reflector on the other side of her to bounce some of the light back on her face for a softer, more glamorous look. Next, we added our honeycomb grid modifier to the front of the snoot. It just snaps on the front like this. And what this does is it actually reduces the amount of spot effect that you're getting with the snoot, plus it reduces the fall off. So you have an even more focused light on your subject. So as you can see in these two shots, the first one, we're just using the snoot by itself. We have a much larger spot effect on Abby. And in the second shot, we've added the honeycomb grid and we've reduced the spot effect and we've kind of reduced the fall off as well. Our snoot kits also come with colored gels. Uh, we've got a blue, yellow, green, and red. And you can add these to the honeycomb grid. Uh, let's add red right here. You just pop it in and then snap it over. And this allowed us to do some creative color effects as well as our snoot spot effect. In this shot, we used a red gel to add a moody single tint look. And in the second shot, we also added a Prismo Jupiter 18. This is one of our RGB lights that we sell here at Photodeox. And we used it to light the background in combination with the red color gel. So we have kind of a cool two-tone look. Next, we kept the honeycomb grid in place and we mounted our constant source light high up above Abby and angled it straight down on her face. And with the addition of the honeycomb grid, this controlled our fall off and allowed us to just light her face for these very moody atmospheric shots. They kind of feel like scenes from a noir film or only lighting some of the details in Abby's face and letting the rest of her face kind of go into shadow. And you can also use colored gels with this setup uh, to create even more of a moody look. With our next setup, we put the snoot and constant source light behind Abby and used it as a hair rim light. Uh, this added this beautiful rim to her hair and shoulders. And then we used a reflector and a second light to bounce light onto her face, creating this nice soft portrait look with striking rim light. Then we just spun the snoot around and used it to create a spot behind Abby's head. And this created this kind of cool halo effect. It almost gives her the look of like a medieval saint. And that's one of the really useful things about snoots. You don't have to use them on your main key light on your subject. Uh, you can put them on a secondary or third light to add detail or a spotlight in the background of a scene. And with our final setup, we put the snoot and constant source light on the ground and angled it up for low angle light. Now this isn't the most flattering lighting for a model, but it does create a really intense dramatic look. Okay, so those are just a couple ways you can use a snoot in your creative portrait photography. And I'm sure we missed some, so if you have any others you'd like to share with us, comment below, I'd love to hear them. And if you'd like to get one of these Photodeox snoot light modifiers for yourself today, click the link in the description below. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com, and thanks for watching.